Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with explaining what I'm doing. I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade C4.5 and I'm dabbing that everywhere on my face um, just to get the coverage I want and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend everything out. Um, I know that on camera it looks a little bit too light for my skin tone color and a little bit too pink but that's just because it is but once it gets warmed up on my skin it sort of blends into my actual color on my skin um, the only thing I don't like about this foundation though that it's that it's uh, pink undertoned and I'm yellow undertoned so it just makes it a little bit worse on camera but I can assure you that when it's all warmed up on the skin, it looks very nicely. So then I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and highlight my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand Stable. I'm gonna use this to conceal and highlight, so I'm gonna put that under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin and on the bridge of my nose just to kill two birds with one stone um, so as you can see I'm uh, blending that out with my beauty blender once again just to make everything look nice and blended because I don't want any sharp lines on my face so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm also going to put that concealer on my eyes just because I don't prime my eyes using a uh, eyeshadow primer um, and that's my mom walking in telling me I have a stain on the back of my shirt because I dyed her hair and apparently I had some dye on the back of my shirt but um, since I don't use any eyeshadow primer I use the concealer to prime my eyes as well and then after that I'm taking my elf translucent powder just to bake a little bit um, my face does tend to get oily, so I really like to add powder to my face. So I'm going to mainly focus this on the under eyes and then also um, put some on my chin and my forehead. Basically anywhere that I applied the concealer, I'm also going to apply a powder. And now I'm just blowing everything away because it's gets pretty messy if I open it. So I'm just gonna brush through my brows now using the Hard Candy eyelash, pen eyelash Pencil, Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Burnette. I have never used this product before and it's a decent product. I've used better ones but this was all I had at the moment so I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I'm gonna fill in any areas that are very sparse um, my I my right eyebrow isn't that um, bald but my left one is especially in the front and so I'm you know just basically filling in all the gaps on my right and left brow It's very important that you brush through your brow with the spoolie just so that you don't have any harsh lines um, because I personally don't like how squared brows in the front look on me so I really make sure that I blend the product out. Um, it is a pretty decent product. It's very creamy actually. Um, not like the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones that are a little bit more hard but I still really really like this product. And now I am going to be brushing all of the excess powder off and using it on my face. And I'm also going to put powder on my eyelids to set them and just make sure that everything is blended and whatnot. So now I'm going to take my Morphe 35W palette. And I didn't show the colors that I was using, but I am using the orange color. And then I'm also going to be using a light brown color that is in the same palette. And then like a burnt brown orangey color that's also on the 35W palette. 
And to put that all over my crease, I'm using the Morphe M513 blending brush to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly and I want to make sure that I have no harsh lines whatsoever. I'm not going to be putting a color on my lid just because today I felt like going for something a little bit more natural. Usually what I would do is I would add a shimmer color to my lid, but today I didn't feel like doing that just because I wanted my eyelashes to be the main point of my eye look. And so I made sure that I wasn't giving too much attention to my actual crease and my lid color. So I just did that instead. I'm starting on my outer corner and once I see that there's not much product left on the brush I take that to the rest of my crease but I want to make sure that the main focus is on the outer corner and I just skipped through all of that process just because there was a lot of distractions and stuff but I basically curled my lashes added some mascara I used the Mary Kay oh what is it called the lash love mascara um, I really like it, it's very volumizing, um, but I added some mascara and then I went ahead and put on my false lashes. I used the Vegas, Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes um, and I was eating something I guess. But now I'm going into the same palette and brushing on that orange color I had initially gone into in my crease. And then I'm also going to add a very light shimmery color to my inner corners just to make my eyes stand out just because these lashes are pretty thick and I don't want my eyes to look smaller than they already are. So now I am taking Champagne Pop by Becca. This is like my absolute favorite, favorite highlighter. Um, I don't know why for some reason I guess I didn't record it but to bronze up my skin I used the elf bronzing powder and I used a Sephora blush um, and then I used the high that highlighter um, so then to line my lips I used a hard candy lip liner and I totally forgot the number and so now I am just applying some mascara to my lower lash line just to make my eyes pop a little bit more and I also didn't add anything on my waterline just because you know whatever hope you guys enjoy